couple of questions we hear a lot are, should I get a mini skid steer or a compact articulated loader? What's the difference between the two? And those are great questions. You may know a few off the top of your head that you can see visually, but what truly sets them apart from each other. We think there are some key differences between the two that can help you decide which one is right for your business. Let's walk through the most important features. First, the two have different and distinct ground drives. Many skid steers have track systems, which can help operators dig into surfaces to minimize slipping. The pilot operated ground drive joystick enables the operator to maintain smooth control of the machine. Compact articulated loaders instead are on rubber tires with a center articulation pivot, which helps to minimize job site ground disturbance. A dynamic blocking system, also known as DVS, with a torque divider sends hydraulic flow to increase traction in difficult terrain. This helps keep the machine from slipping by increasing the traction, especially when digging, grading, or pushing a pile of material. Both machines offer low ground disturbance and optimal flotation, but the mini skid steer operator may need to try and avoid counter rotation to keep from tearing up the job site. If faster ground drive is a focus for you, the compact articulated loader might be the way to go, as they have an increased travel speed over the mini skid steer. Speaking of telescopic boom, let's talk about the different boom features. The telescopic boom on the Vermeer ATX 720 compact articulated loader extends 29.1 inches for loading materials to a dump height of 114 inches in hinge pin height, while also allowing the unit to have a rated operating capacity of 2,155 pounds. The telescopic boom can also aid in dumping material over the back of a retaining wall or grabbing material over an obstruction. As far as warranty goes, it has a two-year or 1,000-hour standard warranty and a three-year, 1,000-hour warranty on hydraulic pumps and wheel drive motors. Many skid steers have radial or vertical lift paths without the telescopic functionality. Many skid steers from Vermeer still have high hinge pin heights and help the unit achieve a strong ISO-rated operating capacity. Additionally, there is a three-year or 3,000-hour limited warranty on the loader arms and frame, which can make the mini skid steer valuable when it comes to the life of the machine. As an example, the Vermeer CTX-160 mini skid steer has an ISO-rated operating capacity of 1,600 pounds and a hinge pin height of 88.75 inches. Now let's switch gears and talk about the engine power and hydraulic controls. The engine on both types of machines is very similar. Depending on which unit is chosen, there are Kubota or coal or diesel or gas engine options. The difference is in the horsepower and hydraulic flow. Compact articulated loaders can offer more horsepower and hydraulic flow than many skid steers and larger units, such as 20 gallons per minute of auxiliary hydraulic flow and 57 horsepower in the Vermeer ATX 850. But many skid steers also offer high power and optimal hydraulic flow such as the Vermeer CTX 100 with 15.5 gallons per minute of auxiliary flow and 40 horsepower. Another thing that they both have in common is the universal mini skid steer attachment plate. Some compact articulated loaders are equipped with this plate too. That allows operators to use Vermeer authorized attachments that best suit your job site demands on either machine. Making efficient use of attachment choice can maximize productivity for you on challenging job sites. We hope this was a helpful look at the main differences and some similarities between the Vermeer Mini Skid Steer and the Compact Articulated Loader. Ultimately, it's your choice to find the right piece of Vermeer equipment for your business, and we want to partner with you in that decision. If you have any questions, reach out to your local Vermeer dealer or find more information on Vermeer.com. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the case may be. This is Marty Grunder from Grunder Landscaping Company and the Grow Group for Landscape Management Magazine. Hey, I think you're probably like me. One of the best ways I learn is to actually go and see things in action and to be with fellow landscape professionals talking about my trials and tribulations as I grow my own landscaping company. I want to encourage you to visit your state association, to get involved in a peer group, to look for ways that you and your team can get out of the day-to-day -day operation of your own business and go away to learn. I can't think of a better way to do that than to join me February 28th, March 1st, and March 2nd, 2023. Yes, it's 2023, folks, in San Antonio, Texas, as we have Grow 2023. We're going to visit Jonathan and Josiah Peterson's Summit Landscape. They are an awesome small business that you can surely relate to. 
Aside from being a family business, they're also an innovative business with unique equipment and facility setups with a spirit of teamwork <laughs> that you won't find in many other places of business. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to feel rejuvenated. The weather's going to be nice. Bring your golf clubs. You'll be able to play golf if you play golf. Bring your team down there. You're going to get rejuvenated. Join us at Grow, February 28th, March 1st, March 2nd, San Antonio, Texas. The Riverwalk, you ever been there? What a cool thing that is. We're going to tour Summit Landscaping. I'll be there, of course. I hope you will be too. Talk to you next month.